to turn this catapult another direction? Uh, no way. We were here first. He came in way after we started shooting. You know what? I don't even think he notices. I'm so glad the Xavier High School physics students let us borrow their catapult. Oh, yeah, for sure. Do you think we could have built something like this on our own? <laughs> you can learn a lot about physics from catapults, acceleration, velocity, and the students were able to tap into their making skills. You know, they were challenged to create a catapult using cardboard, uh, tape, and dowels. You know, I would say, Amber, I really saw the maker process at work in this episode. The students had to rethink and innovate their catapults as they tested them. The students not only had to think about distance in this challenge, but also precision and durability of their catapults, because it wasn't a test of how far they could shoot their projectile, but if they could hit an object at a range of five meters. We only have one catapult. Uh, well, I guess that's what Jonathan's for. So your challenge is to create a catapult out of simple materials, along with creating a catapult competition to measure your physics skills. Share your creations with us, and we'll add your photos or your videos to our maker community. And as always, have fun making. down there and then a place for the rubber bands to go up to on two points there and then just tension it back and then spring. So you, what are you using for materials? Uh, just cardboard and tape and a couple screws and a pencil and rubber bands. Okay. No, the only limitation we have is the size which is 50 centimeters by 50 by 50. So it's about 19 and a half inches. <laughs> the size of them, so we're just um, straight up, and we changed them um, into triangles so that they would be able to resist the tension more. And then we also reinforced um, our base because it was um, it was creasing, it was creasing a lot. So we reinforced it with another piece of cardboard, and then we also reinforced this arm back here so it would bend less. <laughs> We have this piece here to get it to a 45 degree angle because that's the like what we found to be give us the most power is if it hits it hits at a 45 degree angle and we had to use a lot here because it was snapping off and like uh, the, the way that it was set up it, it, uh, the corrugation was like going up and down and we found that that was snapping a lot easier than if we set it sideways so we had to set it sideways so this would be more sturdy. And uh, it's actually not our original design, just the second one. The first one we actually made out of like legit cardboard and uh, we found out that with the tension we had on it, it fell apart. So uh, we found this thicker tube cardboard here and uh, this actually provided us with the strength we needed. It's made out of pencils and cups and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> right here, dude. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 